phones for the dad, who doesn't know he's a dad. Just think, every time you fall asleep, they grow and grow and become more and more like you. I always thought this when you're asleep. These things are growing all the time. Shitty now. Is that true? That makes it even scary. And the most frustrating thing about the whole situation was uh, that he took the 19-year-old uh, Estonian nanny with him. I really, I, I don't know what a 44-year-old man wants with a 19-year-old uh, nanny when he hasn't even got the children with him. Um, I, I'm not a freak. I, I, you know, I'm just, I'm just a normal girl. I just just happened to have one very long arm. Um. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, I mean, people stare. I just wish people would see past the arm and, you know, just see me for what I really am. You may not think of it to look at me, but uh, I am in fact an eco warrior. I chose the uh, eco version of the Range Rover Sport. I try to reduce my carbon footprint by walking as little as possible. My new book uh, by Lydia Dubla Barrel is uh, A Blanket is Not Just for a Picnic, it's also a home for a starving African. Printed into 72 languages. Uh, and also into Braille, um, a Braille section at the back. I mean, we can't be discriminatory uh, these days, can we? You know, if someone is uh, deaf, how are they meant to read? And he jumps into the back of the car, picks up Pip, and races into reception. He slips briefly, but we won't mention that. Smash Pip's head hard against the wall. Bang! <laughs> but we won't mention that. Picks himself up again and races into reception. You've a life to save today. He says like Captain, like one of those snake captains, Captain Snake. Flickage, flickage. You've a life to save today. And they usher him into the vet's office. Who's doing something with a cat's bottom, but a cat.